Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about interview assessment. As you are aware, interview assessment makes up 25% of your course marks. I will begin by talking about what are the things that will be assessed. Firstly, 20% of the marks comes from your resume and cover letter. You will be judged based on the content and organization of these documents. This relates to the items or the points you have included in the resume and cover letter, as well as how you have arranged these points. Next, another 60% of the marks comes from you as an interviewee. As an interviewee, we will look at the content and organization, your presence, and the language, grammar, and delivery you used during that day. Therefore, as an interviewee, you will be judged based on your presence on that day, whether you're confident or not, and what were the points you used to support yourself when giving the answers, as well as things like the vocabulary and the sentence structure that you used on that day. And finally, another 20% of the marks comes from you as an interviewer. As an interviewer, we looked at the relevance of the questions that you post, as well as your interview techniques. In this next slide, we are going to look at what you are required to do to prepare yourself for the interview. So during the interview assessment, it is important that you come to the session in formal attire. That would mean no jeans, no t-shirt, no Crocs slippers or caps, things like that. And apart from that, please make sure that you bring the printed copy of your application letter and resume. Although you have uploaded this document to Smart V3, it is good for you to have the hard copy in case your interviewer asks for it, and also for your final revision right before your interview session. Please also remember to arrive early, about 10 to 15 minutes earlier, so that you'll be able to maybe pace yourself, calm yourself down before going into the interview room. Apart from that, each interviewee or each of the candidates, you yourself should have knowledge of the duties of the position you applied for. For example, if you applied for the post of HR manager, you should know what are the duties of a HR personnel. That is so that you'll be able to answer questions that are catered specifically for the position you are applying for. Next, when you get into the interview room, make sure you greet the interviewer and perhaps briefly introduce yourself before the start of the meeting. So introduce yourself here means just briefly mention your name and the position that you are applying for so that your interviewer knows that they are actually getting the right person into the room before they start the interview. And finally, once you're done with the interview, please make sure to thank your interviewers at the end. Next, I'm going to focus on the roles of the interview panel. As brief earlier, 20% of these assessment marks will be awarded to you as an interviewer. And as an interviewer, you are required to first prepare relevant sets of questions. This means that each interviewee should be given different sets of questions based on the position he or she applied for. For example, if a candidate is applying for the post of a graphic designer, he or she should be asked questions related to graphic design or graphic in general. For example, you can ask him or her questions like, what were the software or applications that you have used in your previous work experience? Next, the interview panel should also distribute tasks among the group members. As each of the group is made up of four or five members, you should make sure that each interviewer interview at least two candidates. This means that if I am an interviewee, I should be asked questions by at least 
two or more interviewers. Apart from that, as an interviewer, you are also required to maintain the formality and flow of the interview. That would mean, as and when required, you might need to prompt or encourage the interviewees to speak. I believe that is all for now. Any questions, feel free to email me or contact me. And I would like to wish you all the best for your assessment.